Hi, welcome to this week's video. I'm Pastor Dave. It's great to be back with you again this week. You know, the purpose of these videos is to help you understand some behind the scenes stuff and to really kind of clarify things that are being said sometimes. And really this week, that's what I want to focus on because last week, President Trump had a press conference. Well, he had a couple, um, but he had one with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and he also had another press conference. And he says things that make sense if you understand some of the things behind the scenes. Like he was talking about fake news. Uh, he, in, in the press conference, he wouldn't take questions from some reporters because you work for fake news. What does he mean by that, and why is he saying that? And of course, we had our first shakeup in the administration where uh, security advisor Michael Flynn was, had, to, had to resign and he was let go. What happened there? Because what we're hearing is that there were leaks coming out and there are leaks in the, in the White House. And the press is reporting, you know, these leaks in the White House and the White House is in chaos and so on and so forth. So let's take the leaks first because you need to understand some background on this. Now, I am going to use uh, as a source a New York Times article. And this New York Times article goes back to January 12th. And in this article, it explains what these leaks are about. You see, the Obama administration, when President Obama was leaving office 17 days, before he left office, he, 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 what did he do? He gave some freedom to 17 different government organizations. You, you see, right now what happens is the NSA, they have the ability to listen to phone calls, to check emails. They can dig into your private life, into your personal life if they wanted to. The NSA has been doing this for a while and then they filter all the information. They, they really don't care about the conversation you're having with grandma. But, but they do care about other kind of conversations. So they take all the information that they gather and they filter it and then they send it out to whatever agency may need that, whether it be the Coast Guard or the Marines or the Army or the Treasury or whatever it is, any of the government agencies. However, two weeks before he left office, President Obama signed into action that this information, this, this, this big pot of information, your phone call to grandma, your, your email to your sister, you know, all those things, 17 different agencies now had access to it. Now, the way this is supposed to work legally, see, Michael Flynn was talking to a Russian ambassador. Now, if you have a foreign leader or a foreign person on American soil, you can listen to that person, you know, based on the laws now after 9-11, without a warrant. However, if an American citizen gets on the line and is involved in the dialogue, then you have to either cut out the recording or what's called minimize the recording. You're not allowed to record an American citizen without any kind of warrant. Now, what that is, it's called 18 U.S. Code 793. 18 U.S. Code 793 is the law. And whenever an American comes online, again, without a warrant, they need to minimize what they're listening to or recording. That was the NSA. Well, now, here's what happened with this, this with um, Loretta Lynn uh, signing, signing the, uh, the law into practice on January 3rd, 17 days before the Attorney General signs it 17 days before Obama leaves office. And, and basically, these new rules uh, allowed the information gathered by the NSA to be broadcast through different agencies. You had the Department of Treasury having access to this. You had the Department of Energy having access to this. You have the Marine Corps Intelligence having access to this. The Coast Guard Intelligence, Air Force, Army, um, the, the, the National Security, the NSA, obviously, and so on and so forth. Department of Homeland Security, 17 different agencies now are getting this raw material. And this is where the leaks is coming from. When you hear President Trump saying, well, we're going to go after these leaks and we're going to find out where they're coming from, the press is saying, well, they're coming from the White House and there's chaos now in the White House. That's not necessarily true. It could be any one of these 17 agencies. Whereas before, before January 3rd, it would have been the NSA who would have got all the information, filtered it, and sent it out. So you would have been able to find the leaks. And there was no leaks beforehand. So that's what some of the behind the scenes and background. So when you say there's leaks in the White House, that may not necessarily be true. In fact, it probably isn't. We just got to find out which agency of the 16 got the information. Someone recognized Michael Flynn's voice. Then they said that he was talking to a Russian ambassador. And that all led to him actually having to resign. So uh, President Trump said he lost, he lost trust in him. So that's the behind the scenes with the, with the security advisor, Michael Flynn. Now, fake news. 
What happens there? You know, when you have fake news, basically, President Trump won't talk to some reporters and some agencies because he says they're reporting things that just aren't true. The media is biased. And, and that's why this website and videos like this are so important to understand the truth behind it. And you may not be a fan of Donald Trump. You, you may not enjoy what he does or like what he does or approve what he does, but you have to understand the truth behind it. So this whole fake news, Bill O'Reilly of Fox News on February 13th, he opened his show and he gave a great description. In fact, he's the only one I've really seen give a good description of what this fake news is all about. Now, this again was February 13th, so a little over a week ago. And he said last week, which would have been the week prior, the first week of February, he said there were 680 undocumented um, immigrants, aliens, arrested here in America. Now, of this 680 uh, Amer uh, immigrants that were arrested, 75% of them had committed crimes, and, and they were mostly felonies. And of the other 25% that were arrested, they were associating with the felons, so they were involved somehow. We don't know if they committed the crimes or not. So basically what happened was you had ICE come out, arrest you know, almost 700 illegal aliens who were involved in major crimes, violent crimes, uh, felonies, and then they deported them, and the news then what the news did, and O'Reilly came out and said, this is what the news reported. And I'm quoting O'Reilly. He said, speaking on CNN, California State Senator, Senator Kevin DeLeon said, quoting, what took place yesterday with raids and personal homes is part of the cog of the Trump deportation machine. So when you hear a senator saying, well, people, you know, ISIS went into homes and, and, and took people out of their homes, and that's all part of Trump's doing. Then on MSNBC, attorney Raul Reyes, he said, how inhumane this is to be breaking down people's doors and separating parents from their children. So now you have an attorney on MSNBC saying that because of Donald Trump and what he's doing, people are breaking down doors and taking away kids and parents and separating them. And it's just so inhumane. These are felons that have committed crimes. 75% of those that ICE picked up were felons. The other 25% were associating with the felons. And the last one I use also on MSNBC, which again, Trump is saying is fake news. Arizona Republican uh, Ruben Gallego said, and I'm quoting, this is Donald Trump's really executing his campaign plan. He is trying to be a tough guy, so we go after, you know, the maids, the moms, the people that are working in the shops, instead of going after the hardcore criminals, end quote. So the news is reporting that ICE is going after maids, moms, and shopkeepers. The truth is they're going after felons and criminals who are committing crimes. I just want you to understand what really is going on behind the scenes whether it be with the leaks in the, in the national government. Um, and, and who knows what's going to happen? You know, we get 16, you got 17 agencies now hearing raw material. They're going to hear your phone call to grandma. They may see your email to your mom. And, and you've got the media reporting things that are kind of really just biased and, and not correct. And you've got a president now standing up strong for both of those things. He's fighting against this. And he's not going to give in, I don't believe. But as long as you understand the whole story and behind the scenes... I think you have a better perspective, and that's really what the goal is of this week's video. Anyhow, my name is Pastor Dave. I'm with Interpreting the Times. If you want to Google us or go to our website, it's all one word, interpretingthetimes.com. We'd love to hear your thoughts or your comments. We have much more information like this. We keep you updated with articles and things like that. So, hey, thanks for spending the time with me this week. I look forward to seeing you again next week. God bless you.